Hey, this is a video about mixing the Super Prime product. Uh, the Super Prime is a water-based two-component epoxy primer. Um, it is a one-to-one -one product, meaning equal parts A and B are mixed together um, the exact same ratio. So if you mix up 32 ounces of A, you need 32 ounces of B. Um, we've done the measurements for our floor. We kind of know about exactly how much we need. Toby's got an A bucket sitting there and a B bucket sitting there. What I like to do, and you can do it a few different ways, especially if you're doing large a large floor where you're going to mix and mix and mix, I like to have an A bucket and then a B bucket, and then I like to label them. So that way on your next batch, you always pour the A in that one and the B in that one, equal parts, and then you dump them together in your larger bucket and that is then your mixing bucket. So that's what we're gonna do here. Um, we're gonna put the A and B together. So we're gonna pause it really quick and jump back in in a second when we got the A and B sitting there and we'll show you mixing. All right, so we've got equal parts of A and B. Um, Toby's getting ready to throw it in the mixing bucket. And we're gonna add some pigment to this later too, we'll show you. As you can see, the Super Prime is a milky white product. Um, it's gonna look milky white. Um, and then when you put it on the floor, if you weren't gonna add pigment, it goes down white. And then as it cures out, it becomes perfectly clear on the floor. Um, so that's just the nature of the product. Goes down white, dries clear. Um, in this case, we're, we're using it as a primer for our one day flake system. Um, and we're going to add just a little bit of gray pigment to it. So one pigment pack does a full two gallon kit. After you put them together, you're just going to want to paddle mix it. Never stir stick mix because it's not going to let the A and B go together good enough. Paddle mix it and uh, Keep track of your watch. Try to do it for two minutes. Um, a good thorough mix. Make sure you're getting the bottoms, the sides, um, and you're not just keeping the mixer in one place the entire time as well. So we're gonna keep mixing, and we'll jump back in here in a second. All right, we've mixed this product and we're getting ready to apply it to the floor. Hey, another thing too is, here's the data sheet on Super Prime. Have it handy at your mixing station. Read it, have your people installing it, reading it, so you know mixing, you know pot life, you know the aspects about it. I think it's a good practice to have. So, this is applying Super Prime to the floor. Uh, this particular batch of Super Prime has medium gray pigment into it. Go ahead, Toby, and pour it into the pan. This product, you weren't gonna to wanna to pour into the pan and dip and roll. Um, it has a pot life of over an hour, hour and a half, to be honest with you. It's probably even longer than that, meaning it hangs out. That's plenty, Toby. So when you pour it into the pan, um, you wanna make sure that you have enough to back roll residual off, which he left in there. And then you wanna make sure that you can move your pan around too. So it's okay to leave a little bit in the bucket. Um, so you have it in the pan and how we like to do a floor is this is the area that we're doing between the tape and the wall and all the way back it's cut in the edges before you do the floor so toby's going to cut in the edges with a um, three inch roller um, by the way we're using three eighths inch nap roller covers um, to do the floor that's a three inch three eighths nap 18 inch three eighths nap um, we sell roller covers. We sell good roller covers. We also sell really good coating products. Don't buy cheap roller covers. Um, get them from us. Get them from somewhere else. But don't buy the cheap ones. Get, get a good roller cover. So that really determines the outcome um, quite, a, quite a bit. Super Prime, not as much, but in a lot of other things. So, so he's putting down uh, the primer where... See, your 18-inch roller doesn't get quite to the edge good enough. So 
we just like to cut it in. So I'm going to go ahead and start rolling this with the uh, 18, and we'll jump back in and show you some more of this later. All right, We're, we are rolling Super Prime, our two-component water-based epoxy primer. Um, again, this one has medium gray pigment in it. Um, extremely easy product to roll. Um, keep a wet edge, put it down even. Um, that's the main thing. Keep your roller loaded. Um, don't, don't, don't do any railroad tracks um, in the floor, meaning, you know, where you've got lines in the floor from rolling, I'm trying to reproduce it. Don't let areas build like that that you can see. Um, you know, you just want to put done a nice even coat. Now, the other thing is, if you had areas that you missed when you repaired, and, and there's a good example right here, just a couple little pop-outs that we just missed. Toby, can you catch them in the light? And this is an extreme example, and I mean, but don't let the product, like, just fill with it, you know? It, especially this bigger one. This is a tiny one, you know? Maybe not a good example, but if you have a big one that you didn't repair, you know, take the edge of your roller cover and just kind of get that build out of there because you don't want super prime to build into a thick mass you know nothing more than a credit card width in depth if you want to think of it like that the other thing i'm running out of product in my roller cover as you can see you don't want to push your roller cover into the floor to try to get more product out there's going to be nothing to lay out if you do that so reload your roller cover um, in the pan Get it nice and saturated with product. Again, keeping the wet edge. And your roller cover should do the work for the most part. Uh, again, if this product was clear, you can put it down clear. We're getting ready to do a, a flake system on it with a gray base coat. So this, this gray primer gives us just a little bit more hide, which um, is gonna make the floor look a little bit nicer. But if you were to put our Super Prime down clear, which in some applications you can. Um, it goes down like milk, it looks like milk, and it dries perfectly clear. Um, so anyway, we just thought we'd show you putting down Super Prime. It's a, such an easy product to put down. Uh, just try to make it as even as possible. You know, don't slop it out or anything. But it um, goes down easy. Dries really quick to recoat, typically four to twelve hours, and you know, in, in seventy degree temperatures is your recoat window on it. So it has great time to recoat.